Dire Team Ben. Welcome back, everybody, to Star Ladder TV's Europe Division Day 7. We've come a bit of a way here in Star Europe. I'm joined by Ben Malini Wu. How are you doing, man? How are you doing this fine morning? I'm good. This is, well, I guess it kind of is morning. Ben. Normally, I'd be doing the Chinese matches, but today I got to sleep in a bit more, and it's good. I like it. I actually get to see the sunlight for once, mm -hmm. rather than LD and I being like the <laughs> night owl, so... Vampires. Yeah. So um, life. Star Ladder Europe's well underway. I mean, we say day seven, like China and Korea's later on there, like day two, day three. Uh, taking a look at where things stand right now before we hop in the draft. Na'Vi, they've actually got a loss now, having lost to Empire, but they're still top as far as points go, seeing on four and one. Uh, you've got Empire and Alliance short behind them. PR, uh, who were playing later today in the last match, at 2 as well. So the two teams we're about to see, though, Empire versus Insane Gaming. Empire undefeated 2 0. Insane Gaming is 0-2, but you said you casted them and they looked alright? They looked alright. The odds are... Seconds remaining. 86-14, but okay. Empire Dying is probably big. everyone's favorite going into this um, Starlighter. I th actually think they might be um, contention for like top 2, top 3. And they were actually yeah. underdogs versus Na'Vi. I think that odds are usually skewed towards Na'Vi. And I think in this game, odds are like slightly skewed yeah. towards Empire. I think they have more than a 14% yeah. well, chance. I've got my odds backwards. Low. Apparently, Empire of a 14%. <laughs> I don't know how this thing works. <laughs> Trying to use the overlay? The red yeah. bar is... Empire's, is Empire's not going to win 14%. I don't know. Well, they've, they've got most of the bar on their side, though. How does that oh, work? Is the, I don't know. The bar is one way, and... That's, de that's deceptive. What happens if I switch these numbers up? As people can hear the uh well it's still it's still confusing like the it's small bar confusing. is the the big number this needs to be reworked yeah i don't know we'll, we'll uh, help ourselves in the draft though, <laughs> so that's what you guys are hearing going on um let's get ourselves in game though as uh we are going to be in the draft but empire versus q insane gaming uh q insane gaming made up of some players who were in the last star series big yes. Nome, i remember Ig ink visitor i remember too yep. Bignum played some good Magnus games. I remember he was like a bit of a playmaker and someone quite mm -hmm. fun to watch. But Empire are kind of unstoppable right now. They're just winning. They're on a hot streak. Yeah. Resolution will be drafting for Empire and Bignum will be uh, <laughs> drafting for Insane Gaming. And not giving Invoker to Resolution, I think, is the first step to victory. Yeah. The Empire do go for support they love using in the Dazzle. They're going to combine it with the Visage for now, so... Empire just have like all these cute little strategies which is just so hard and annoying remaining. to deal with. I, I don't know how you ban against this team. They take out the slider like them in their next two bans. They'll just Empire just always have something up their sleeves. Mm -hmm. Have Reserve they been using like a lot? I haven't seen them run it much. I think they played it yesterday in the Dream League in one of their matches, mm -hmm. but in general, not. Lycan is underrated. I think he's really good if at pushing towers down, which most carries aren't. Yeah. Like I guess Lone Druid and. Uh, Lycan are my main two, but Lone Druid's yep. fallen pretty heavily. I, he's Lycan's pretty good versus Doombringer. Also, so is Lone Druid too, so I think Wraith these heroes can be used quite frequently. Wraith Dire King is too, but big. no one likes to run Wraith King. Yeah. Well, I mean, Empire, like you mentioned Resolution earlier, they, the, not just the Invoker, even the Batrider ban target him, but he's going to be playing the Puck, puck this game around, and he actually uh, averages the highest kills per game of any uh, player in the Western scene right now. That seven point seven point five kills per game on this on this patch that is that's so. ridiculous. Um, and Silent as a carry is averaging the second highest GPM on this patch, only behind Arteezy, which is kind of funny because Arteezy Radiant is a mid player, so mm. he just farms away half the time though. So Plays here is like Morphling and Shadow Fiend, but um, Empire gonna get the Silent Life Stealer this time around. So, uh, Life Stealer doesn't actually fare that well versus Doom. He's usually the biggest Doom target. It could yeah. be Puck too if you can catch Ten him out of position, but most of the time Puck's in a good enough position or he'll land a silence on Doom so that five even if you do get a silence or get a Doom remaining. on him, it's going to be a little bit too late. So Life Stealer's going to have his work cut out for him. And Reserve time. yeah, Mag's Batrider has just been really impressive. Yeah. Um, it was pretty impressive Fire yesterday, and it's just... Absolutely ridiculous. I think he got an eight minute blink dagger as a solo off lane bat rider against it he was contested either two or three people, which okay. is insane. You should never let <laughs> the opposing team's off lane get that yeah. much farm. Well they're gonna ban out his clockwork, having already in banned out his bat rider. Clockwork's remaining. actually his uh their most played hero uh, in this current patch, so Five definitely something remaining. worth banning out, even though it's banned out in the last stage here. But Empire 
Haven't gotten offline just yet, but they can even send their tri lane offensively. If they want to put Dazzle Visage Lifesteal as an offensive tri lane, get a safe lane solo for Mag, it's also an option for them, but uh, still a, a number of still fairly decent offlaners left in the pool. But for those of you just tuning in, this is Star Ladder TV's Europe Star Series. We're here in day seven with Empire versus Q Cyber Insane Game. We've seen a lot of games take place today. All in total, we've got 17 total games in one day across four regions with Starlight of Korea and China both taking part, taking place. They both had four games apiece. Now we're in Starlight of Europe with five games. And after Starlight of Europe, we're going to be jumping into Starlight of America. It's day remaining. one of Starlight of America. We've got all eight teams playing today. So you have the likes five of E-Hug, EG, Liquid. Remaining. 17 games in total. That's that's a lot of freaking Dota, Ben, in Starlight of <laughs> I don't know. Solider has so many games. The round robin format with this many teams is. And then four regions now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's absurd. It's crazy. Insane so, gaming go for the Shadow Feet, so. Clockwork will be also be banned out too. Some teams like to run Puck in the offlane. I think most notably EG. Universe likes really likes that Puck offlane. Yeah. Um, I forget one other team does it too, one of the North American teams, but it's still relatively uncommon. And I think Empire will still Ten run in mid. But right remaining. now it looks like they're searching for an offlane hero. Most likely, Insane will Five be running that. Nyx Assassin remaining. off lane, Doom is the one. And probably in the safe lane, too. I don't really see well, him taking gonna go Was Nyx or Doom will go mid, I guess? I think Shadow Fiend mid. Okay, so you don't... Oh, yeah, Doom is a one. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, Doom one, Nyx off lane, lane Shadow Fiend mid. I don't, think, okay. I don't think they can do offensive try, even though it is better for Five Doom since they can eat a creep remaining. right there. Life Sealer Visage Dazzle is really scary, and I think AA is actually somewhat weakened. Offensive tries if they have a good try like Visage. They so. get Darkseer. Actually, Darkseer of all time is one of their most played heroes. I was looking at some of their, their stats earlier on in this match. So. Darkseer is underrated, I feel. Um, I think it is their most picked, most picked hero. So I'll pop open some stats. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know how this thing works. I think it sometimes shows heroes here. There we go. Darkseer, their most picked hero of all time. Wow. This goes back many, many patches ago when mm -hmm. Darkseer used to be much stronger. But um, hey, it's He hasn't been nerfed that badly. His Ion Shell actually got buffed. And yes. the vacuum just constantly gets nerfed, but it's... It hasn't been nerfed too recently, yeah, I guess. Yeah, but. it's the cooldown reduction, or cooldown, yeah, cooldown uh, increase, rather, is pretty ridiculous. Prepare 28 seconds battle. on a non-ultimate spell, but still, that spell is just absolutely yep. insane. All right, well, we'll introduce our two teams for our fourth match of today in Star of Europe. It's going to be Insane Gaming on the Radiant side. We've got FN playing the Doom. We've got Chomi oh, playing the Oh, they've already Shadow smoked Fiend. up. Inquisitor playing the Ancient Apparition, Aloha Dance on Rubik, and it leaves Bignum playing the Nyx Assassin. And on the side of Empire, starting off in the off lane, we have Mag on that off lane Darkseer. In the mid lane, we have Resolution on the Puck. Vanscore on the Dazzle, looks like he's already rotating. Silent on the Life Stealer, and last but not least, we have Always Wanna Fly on the Visage. He's actually already skilled Grape Shield, too. Where's this smoke going? They kind of wanted to check Roshan. Has Dazzle? Oh, they know Dazzle's there. Dazzle's gonna walk right into him. This is first blood. Lift him up. There we go. The lift came. The chilling touch is there. First blood to the AA. All right. That's a pretty unusual place to smoke. That's a weird too. route. Yeah. Yeah. There's no. You can't Roshan with this Empire. Likely they went to Roshan. Do you see any? I guess they could Dazzle? Roshan with Dazzle heal, and yeah. it would and take a long time though. Yeah, and they only have two melee, so don't have to worry about the song. It would have taken a long time, but it was it was a smart move by Insane. That was maybe they've just watched a few Empire re replays and realized that the Dazzle always takes that route to go ward. Or the well, nice they they were also on the high ground too, fight. so that yeah. if someone were to approach this way, they'd be. You, That's it's, true. It's hard to see. Yeah, yeah. actually, if you, if you stay smoked here and whatever offlane hero goes to get the rune, you can maybe yeah. gank him from the high. Well, ground. the thing is, this tower only gives vision over here because yeah. of that uh, that yeah. tree line. So they're all standing in this area, and if anyone comes down into the river, they're dead. So nice I mean, it's, it's it's not terribly uncommon for people to. Um, go from over here. So already Q insane. Off to a very good start. It's I mean it's D well they're gonna D ward as well, so that's another thing going their way. It's still just a first blood for your AA. That'll get him some boots and they're gonna kill on the support, so it's not really slowing down or hurting anyone's gold like the puck who's trying to rush his bottle with a null talisman. Um all in all I think it's it's not gonna bother Empire too much. Yep. Mag gets harassed out of lane, looks like his level two will be fairly delayed. Yeah. This is it's gonna be tricky for him. He needs to find a way he wants to get he wants to get the farm with Iron Shell, but he also needs to try and get an experience range. But against the Rubik AA, that's quite tricky for him. Uh, Doom has, hasn't devoured a, a big creep from lane. He's he's uh he's gone straight just to devour the lane creep. Normally we see Doom just leave the supports in lane for a bit and then go devour one of these big creeps. Get an Ursa clap or get like a Centaur stomp. Get something that can add to your killing power in lane. Yeah, I think uh, you 
Sometimes you can do it versus the darks here, though. But yeah. yeah, for the most part, yeah, you do oh. really want that early experience. Right. Max, Max found some experience. He's leeching off this neutral camp as well as he can. Only well, gets a, a small amount, though. <laughs> He's uh, very smart to stay on the opposite side of the river, yeah. though. If he comes to this side, he gets telekinesis up and mo will most yeah. likely die, especially without surge yet. Yeah. He only got experience for one of those mini wolves. Well, I say mini wolves. I think they're called giant wolves, but... <laughs> they do not look giant. No. There's the giant wolf and then the alpha wolf. But they're little baby wolves. And looking at mid lane, we've got Shadow Fiend up against the Puck. Puck's fairly ahead at the moment with a 6 and 3 CS to the SF's 3 and 1. He gets a 4th, though, so... I guess the first creep wave or two is hard for the SF before he starts getting any souls. Yeah, SF should start to pull ahead by like level 5, 5 or so, if not a little bit earlier. Double damage. Well, both offlane is really struggling uh, to get experience. Oh, Dazzle, he has a DD. They don't have a ward on top lane. Q Insane does not. Well, SF would have to push pretty far across the I mean, Resolution's getting a really good block right now. Yeah. So if Trimby's he... not bad too, so. Yeah. Well, he's, he's staying on the high ground. He tangos up. I think he should be okay here. Maybe it's just a DD some Dazzle. DD Dazzle's a lot of damage. Yeah. We're gonna... no, no poison touch. Right, well, resolution just. It's still helping because just SF gets pushed out of lane, gets resolution, some last hits denies. But SF now has the 9 souls, so that's gonna give him enough damage that he can get some fairly stable last hitting going. Yeah, Ink Visitor has completely zoned Mag out of lane. He's just like, screw this, man. I am going to the jungle. Yeah, and off he goes. They've done a really good job with their supports. Normally you see Darks here at least hit level 2. Yeah, he tried to double shell on the creep wave at level one, but he was too scared of the right click from AA. Yeah. I guess fair enough. It's an AA Rubik Doom, like even with Chilling Touch and Telekinesis, like Doom can't really add too much, but Yeah, if he had search he would get away, but without I mean AA yeah. is already level two, he's That's true. probably gonna die. We've seen all go flying down on mid lane on the SF. No kills since that first blood, but I think uh, both teams will be pretty happy with how things are looking right now. Life Sealer, 1500 gold. Do you think we look for a Midas rush, or does he go for the more stable phase boots? I think he needs Midas because he needs a lot of items this game. Because he has a, like, not only does he have to worry about getting doomed, he also has to worry about getting right clicked down by Shadow Fiend during team fight. So that means he has to be, like, pretty far ahead. And maybe, like, once they get, like, Puck Blink, they can start playing very aggressively. But until then, it's probably just going to be passive farming, especially with the first blood already going insane. Yep. Rubik gonna keep on pulling here and uh, looking at like these support levels. Rubik's already hit level three and a half, so he's actually not doing too bad. And the radiant, well, radiant. Oh, the other two supports, the Nyx and the AA, are actually just level two right now. I say support. Nyx is in the off lane, but he's been zoned out really heavily. Yep. And looked like Puck's still doing very well. I mean, nineteen and eight compared to the fourteen and four from Chomi. Is his bottle coming out? This is. Yeah, I don't know why they haven't given him his bottle yet, but oh, it looks like he's rushing the minus on the Doombringer to 340 gold, so just 150 until he reaches that. Let's check out Life Stealer. He's also going for a hand of Midas, but he will have it <laughs> just at a slightly quicker pace. Yeah, Midas came in. Well, I'd say it's almost identical. Yeah, it's almost identical. It's it's it, At this point, it pretty much is. I think Doom actually may win this race. If he gets the last hit here, yep. No. Yeah. Oh. He's good. Doom wins it by two seconds. <laughs> yep, there they go. Sub five minutes though, pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. And I, do you think this start favors Empire or Insane more? Mm, I would say it. It's about even. I think like Puck's really, not that he's completely farm dependent, but he needs Blink to make a lot of big plays. And Shadow Fiend is Shadow Fiend. He obviously needs yeah. items too. So Ooh. and and then Doom and Life Seal are about even. I say Life is a better carry, but Doom's better in team fights. So all in all, it's just even around the board. SF is playing well, like he'll push out the wave with raises and then go to farm the camp because he knows Puck level 6 now with one support rotation, he can go down and he's had no wards on above him at the top river the entire game, so he's very he has a triple stack though, whereas... Yeah. He's, yeah. This SF has just played a really solid game. You have to play like how he's playing when you, there is no Radiant, there's no Radiant Observer on the high ground, uh, where the Visage has just, just been camping for like the last two minutes. He sees Resolution hit mid, he's like, okay, let's go for a kill, but... No kill presents itself. Yep. And SF he's going to be level forward. 7 after this. He's going to get another stack as well. He can stack it once more. and It's pretty big. He's very, he's very big. Yeah. Well, Puck, I, I don't, I'm not really too worried Vampire yet. This is a team who's been just playing so well like as a team that they, even with a decently farmed SF, they'll, they'll find the ways to shut him down. But 
Insane Gaming just playing very efficiently so far. Yep, gold lead, just about 750 in favor of Insane. But now Puck has a DD rune, so we may see Second Blood come out fairly soon. We see Always Want to Fly and make his way middle. If SF pokes his head out, let's see if any of the supports have TPs. Nyx has a TP, he's level 4. Rubik does have a TP, and A has a TP, so Insane is really prepared. He do needs to go in anyway. He has got that level 6 here, which means Darkseer can't really come anywhere near this lane. Although, with that said, if he gets Dooms, there's just a Doom plus AA. They need the Rubik Telekinesis as well. And it's where I'd almost like to see Rubik go for like a, a flank and come around from behind and catch up Mag by surprise under his tower, but... Yeah, they, they'll probably need a smoke for that. Yeah, and the other problem is, like, it's only Puck with a TP, so attack. I think Puck alone TPing in, you're still okay there, even without the Doom. Yeah. But... For now, I think Insane just happy to play this safe. There is a bit of a dive going on top lane. Nyx is being zoned out. TP's coming in. Double TP, in fact, by both the supports. And they want to maybe make sure this tower doesn't go down. Life still will be pushed back by a cold feet. Heal comes out. And Insane, they're going to get their Nyx up to level 5. So he's getting enough out of this lane. Like He's actually a full level ahead of Mag on the Darks here. And Darks and Nyx, they're more level dependent than farm dependent. Yep, they may be going for a gank in mid, but there is this Observer Ward over here, but I don't think you'll see them coming. It's They're going to be really hard-pressed to kill a Puck, though. They have to pretty much kill him with Telekinesis before he orbs yep. and phase shifts. See, D Puck pop his DD and his smoke. He's looking for a kill. Yep. It looks like he Denied. may go for the... Dude. He's going to run into supports. That's actually okay, because if he runs into the two supports alone, he can actually fight them 1v2 as a level 8 Puck. His damage output is pretty scary. Here they go. FN a little bit too greedy. He has 660 yeah. HP and he's taking creeps right now. This is going to be bad. Yeah. All of the silence, everything there. Easy pick off for Empire's resolution. Man. It's smart smoking because there's a. There's, it's, okay, that's a mistake. Two Raiden Observer Wards at this bottom river. Yeah. They've got the, <laughs> the Twin Towers action going on. Radiance well, bottom tower that's is there. That was a bit of miscommunication. I imagine one supported planet, each, planet one of each. And Shadow Fiend. Can't be fine. Mag here. Mag Surge is about to wear off and he's running down. He's going to try TP out. He can double raise this. Is going to be enough damage? Yes, it is. Jomi's playing really well. He's looking like a, a really solid solo mid player right now, i got to say. Yeah, his CS is on par with the Puck and he's actually very close to even on um, levels too. But a lot of it has to do with the stacking. But again, his supports have not been as... Uh, they just haven't been really rotating around that much, and this Wasted Observer Wars 2 really yeah. gives them a lack of vision. Yeah. Nyx Assassin gets an Impale, does a lot of damage to Vangscore at top. Carapace even Not being so used. Fast. Forces out a Grave, though. Grave TP from Vangscore. He just wants to get out, get the hell out of there, play it safe. And tower is under this Nyx is about to hit level 6 and also fairly close to his Arcane Boot. Yep, the pressuring bottom tower very Surgeon. heavily right now. <laughs> Surgeon just for an Iron Shell, just to draw the aggro of tower. <laughs> Mag just trying to get whatever he can. He'll hit level 6, so similar timing to the Nyx Assassin. It seems the two offlaners are, are matching each other pretty well. The two solar mids are matching each other pretty well as far as just general farm goes. And the two one positions, though. After that one death, it's about 1,000 gold difference in between the Lifestealer. Yep. And I, I think he actually used Infest just to get more farm. The Radiant supports are a bit more farm than the Dire side, though. I mean, it helps that the AA got the first blood. They've been pulling a lot more, it seems. And Dazzle's bottom of the net worth, because it's actually Radiant leading by a small 250 gold margin overall, which is pretty much non-existent right now, even 10 minutes in. But hey, SF will keep stacking this big camp here, and well, see what he, he's going to rush at BKB. So he wants to play very safe against an aggressive Empire team. Yeah, BKB is a necessity here. Radiant's he bottom tower is under attack. We'll always want to fly rotating, and we've seen a very quiet Visage this game. This was their first two picks as well, Dazzle, Visage right off the bat in this draft and so far we've seen no action from either of these two heroes. Yeah, they need level 6 up on Visage ASAP but he's still only sitting at level 4 and he just hit level 4 too. 51 out of 500 experience on him. Compare that to the Radiant supports. Rubik's about to hit level 6 and AA about to hit level 5. They're really out leveling their counterparts. Just being... I mean the Radiant jungles are a lot better for pulling. That's I think largely the Radiant advantage as to why they're high. But at the same time they've had to been stacking for the SF too so... Yeah. Like Empire, they I don't know what they've been doing with their supports. I guess it's only out the Nyx a little bit, but he's still level 6. And Darkseer is oh, well, so well. Always want to fly stacking as well. He's got a big okay. stack coming, I which see. I guess the Darkseer will take. Meanwhile, your AA is stacking, so all the supports are just on stacking duty. It's like that one patch. 
<laughs> the dream, dream hack winter 2012, which I casted. Everyone was just passively farming jungle and stacking everything for days, picking Darkseus, Sven, Magnus, and that's oh, fun. That was that was a very questionable, questionable uh, meta game. <laughs> is under oh, I was I was I was left uh, wanting a bit more out of that that tournament. Let's Man, look, a silence farm is ridiculous. He has phase Midas, Trums, and a Claws of Haze, and 700 gold, and that's before the tower goes down. Oop. So if he gets his tower, we're looking at... Oh, yeah. Puck finds a kill. He's got a Blink Dagger now. Missed that one, but uh, we'll see the push continue at top lane. And yeah, like you say, if he gets his T1 tower, tower that's attack. almost armlet. He's going to get it. And his Midas is up. Oh, geez, so is... now he's almost 2,000 gold ahead. Yeah. 1,500 gold ahead of the Doom. And yeah, Puck's pretty darn big now. His net worth is actually eclipsed by the Shadow Fiend, though. Yeah, Shadow Fiend, just with all the stacking, for the most part, is probably the reason for that. But even so, we'll see Mag come and kill off this. This Visage needs to leech experience here. He really needs to level 6. And I think that, that's almost that why. That camp is so large. Yeah. Well, this will help out a lot for the Visage. And Darkseer will get him, get him some farm. This will almost be his mech as well. So this is actually, a, I think, a good position for Empire to be in, just because they're going to have their mech. They'll get level 6 Visage in a second. Well, not really in a second, but maybe in another couple minutes. And once they have level 6 on these supports, they can do a lot better job of actually fighting insane. But both teams playing very passive Dota. This is two CIS teams, would you believe it? That's, they're not playing like CIS teams. Yep. They can use Silence and Fest to get a kill fairly shortly, but still waiting on his armlet. Just about 200 gold for his Blades of Attack, which will complete the recipe, and I think they can start ganking Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend yeah. doesn't have his BKB, the or he's does he? Close. Oh, he's close. He's got a Mithril Hammer, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Mithril Hammer. This life seal is getting almost 10 last hits a minute. He's seeing on 117 after 13 minutes. That's pretty insane. I'd love to know how, like, if there was, like, a last hits miss tab for this top lane, like, I reckon he'd be just crushing it right now. Like, probably at most, like, five last hits miss. Although with it pushed out now, he is going to be missing a few more, but... Mm -hmm. well, Dromi at mid, just going to keep raising stuff down, and... It's kind of hard to kill and gank this SF, especially when you haven't even got level 6 on your visit. Yeah, yeah. they can still do it with Puck, but yeah. they have to have Life Sealer. Puck's not nearly enough damage, especially when he already has Ogre Club. He'll probably just play safe until he has his BKB. Now that he's only 700... They're already using the Infest. Yeah. about. To, I feel like it's a almost about time. They've had this blink on Puck for some time, and... And Big Num doesn't see this coming. He's completely screwed. And I don't know. Ooh, he's going to throw an Impale here. I think this is the death of him. Blink Silence. Easy, easy kill. Silent will get the last hit as well. Oh. <laughs> this guy is just ridiculous. At man. least SF didn't die. It's, and... That's the thing. It's the Nyx Assassin. Like it's, it's still a kill for Empire. It's still like advantage Empire there. But but at the same time, Empire's gank is going to be better than Insane. Just because Nyx has yeah. been very, very inactive. Pretty much everyone's been inactive, but... If you want one hero to be active, it wants it, it should be the Nyx. Always want to fly. Does have a level six up now. Looks like everyone has their ultimate up except for Dazzle, but he's still level six too. Just opted to skip out on that. All right, Seth, just continuing to farm neutrals. He spends more time there in lane just because of the nature of the the puck Aloha puck dance. Oh, found another kill. Oh, like you said, Empire's gank is that much stronger. They're punishing this top lane time and time again. The Radiant team almost need like a lane ward, just high like up here, Radiant like just chuck a lane ward so you can see this puck life still coming. And that way you can actually farm safely when it's at your tower. The problem is Empire can get kills under under your tower, and you can't even punish it. Unless Doom is there with a Doom, but Doom is not kind of preempting these ganks and, and acting or acting on them that much. No, he's just farming it up, but Life Sealer is farming and getting kills. Now the net worth disparity between those two is a whopping 2,000 gold. Insane has a ward in middle, but at the same time, Empire hasn't really been focusing on middle. So like Empire may want to position themselves for an early Roshan as well. Like, they're getting wards up around there. If they get a Medallion on Visage, is that what's coming out? Yeah, Medallion on Visage. So with this, they can get a very easy Roshan. Bring in the Life Steal, you've got more than enough damage in. Take down an early rush, and then with that, they can get super aggressive. Jeremy's BKB has been bought. It's in a yeah. stat right now. Has not yet been completed, though. Well, the ALT was, was thrown at Roche, and they saw no one doing it. So maybe Empire tries sneaking now, but I think they want to try to bring down at least the T1 mid first and take take down the T1, make it a lot easier to bring around the Roche. Mm -hmm. If they get hit by ALT, they'll just put themselves in a very compromising position. It's just 15 seconds. That thing's pretty low cooldown as far as ultimates go. We see another smoke coming out from Puck. This and could be bad for insane. Yeah, I think do make it caught. Oh, he just narrowly misses. Okay. Well, you. <laughs> uh, he stole familiars. 
Oh, Rubik did? Yeah. Why don't they cast it? Yeah. Oh, he's going to go down. Wow. <laughs> okay. Disgusting burst damage. And I think he's still got open wounds. He can slow the Doom and probably keep this puck alive. You're going to be in a bit of, pro bit of trouble here. There's an Nick Assassin coming in. Going to stun up Silent. And it looks like Puck will be just fine here. Shadowfiend going to rotate down. Silent may actually be the one who goes down. That's a big, big Radiance kill. Doom gets the last hit on this. Vision Familiars are there. Darks are going to drop the wall. The vacuum to follow as well. Not into the wall, though. There's going to be a Soul Assumption. Finishes off the Nick Assassin. Nice play here. Insane want to turn this one around. They do so with a BKB Shadowfiend taking out Visage. So, barely that was even trades good. across the board. It was a 3 for 2, but the three heroes were all like supports yeah. slash offlaners. And they got the. Uh, Lifestealer, very nice chain stun there. The Nyx Assassin Impale into the Doom Centaur Stomp. And so, I, almost an even trade, like a yeah, three for two. Even. That's an even when, it, when you're killing this Lifestealer, it's more or less an even that trade. That burst was insane, though. Like the oh, Infest Coil, geez. Waning Rift, the Lucid Orb instantly killed two supports. Lifestealer didn't even have a chance to cast Open Wound. They just blew up. Yeah, I think they're going to need some Bracer Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ink Visitor in mid. Oh, he's going to go down here. Looks like Resolution will get the solo kill. That's attack. the thing about AA. Like He is just so poor defensively. He's very yeah. good at defending against pushes, but defending against ganks, he... Like, when people die that fast, there's really nothing you can do. If you throw your AA ultimate um, and you're trying to defend it, like, it it's just not going to come out fast enough. And Vortex is not enough. He doesn't even have one level Vortex. I think the value point in Vortex is pretty good. 18% slow. Yeah. I've been seeing level. AAs even, like, get level 1 cold feet and max Vortex plus right. healing touch. Right. Vortex is much more reliable of a spell. Yeah. Big AA ult coming out. We'll hit three heroes at Roshan, but they're not even Empire. scared. Yeah. Medallion, Familiars, Lifestealer, right click. They get this fairly comfortably. Can you, like, before when, when they got that gank when the puck was doomed, can you lifesteal while doomed from the open wave? I'm not sure. Some passes get disabled, some don't. And well, some purges, yeah. some of the spells get, uh, some spells get the uh, purge off, some don't. Your items get disabled, but I guess the Lifesteal is a spell, like the open wounds effect. Mm -hmm. Well, puck you still get like move speed from items. Right? Yeah. So it's not like, I think it's just the active abilities on items, right? Yeah. So I'm a blank. We're going to see Nick Gank to Vicente with an A ult in. Finds a big off. Yeah, I think I think Puck could still life still while he's doomed from the open wing. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think he can definitely do it from open wing. I don't know if life still can. Oh, from Beats. Um, I think Beats gets I think this gets disabled. Yeah, right? passive. What if he has HRD? Has I don't know. Doom is a questionable spell. They they changed it so that I mean, it used to not purge. So if you would have haste, you can just whatever run away. But yeah. now it'll dispel it. Oh, he wants to get this T1 tower. Here comes the puck. He's got an infest bomb once again. But there's a Doom BKB. This will actually save his life. So it's, it was a good item pickup in the end. Is Rubik's gonna still break? This would be useful if he had more HP. He's yes. just going to get obliterated because of his low HP. I like his switch to start leveling up Nullfield, though, instead of maxing Telekinesis. Yeah. Just help with the puck a little bit. As much as possible. And Empire's just being something. super efficient around the map, though. Yeah. That's what's going on. Radiant this game's going to come down to SF just getting massive IP. Having Doom plus Nick. If Doom Nick's get a good engagement, like you Doom a key target and Nick's hits a multiple hero impale, maybe. Middle tower Q and Saint fallen. with a team fight. Yeah. Um, Nyx is going for a mech, which is like the, the mech will help the team, but I feel he really needs a blink dagger to get a yes, multiple they hero. They need clean impale. initiates. They can't. At some point, Empire will get a gem for the vendetta, and he's just not going to hit more than one hero in an impale if this game goes on longer. Well, the thing about it is, you, if this game goes on longer, Insane's in a lot of, a lot of trouble because the BKBs are going to start wearing down. We've already seen one BKB used by Shadow Fiend, one BKB used by Doom, and they're not really getting that much out of their BKB yeah. usage. It's not like they're getting any T1s. It's not like they're getting Roshan. It's not they're like staying they're getting alive, that many kills. Yeah, they're just staying alive, and it's not going to help them stay alive that much longer. And meanwhile, Empire, Lifestealer doesn't need a BKB. He's Lifestealer, and Puck doesn't need one either. So they're going to... I think the four, five-second BKB duration is going to have a pretty big impact come 30, 35 minutes. Silent's going to be looking at an Abyssal Blade in the next probably two, three minutes, maybe, yeah, and that goes through the BKB. So. Um, yeah, Shadowfane is going to have to get, like, Vanta Butterfly. Yeah. He's going to get a T1 tower fine. here, perhaps, which would be a nice bit boost to his gold here. He's on the high ground. needs to be a bit careful. Dyer's he can embrace a gaming. I know all about it. Our Dazzle's got two braces going. The bracer gaming is the way to go. It's really strong on a lot of support. If you don't actually need to be going for a mech or full stuff for the team, 
or uh -huh. urn or yes. blink or a lot of other. I items. guess Dazzle could have gone urn. This team does they don't have any urn on this. Yeah, they don't have an urn, so urn would have been nice for Empire, but at the same time, look at his score. He's zero one and zero. Like not to say he's done nothing this game. He's actually contributed to the team fights and just helped with the healing, graves and stuff. So if he hadn't urn, he'd probably still have zero charges. Yep, looks like Resolution is going to farm bottom, but I think they do see the infest. You can see that, right? If you're the opposing team. No. No, no, no. no. The uh, armlet in the infest. Oh, the armlet effect, you mean? Yeah. I don't know. I think they see it, so I think if they're keeping their eyes on Puck right now, then they know okay. that he's infested. Yeah, I was like. I don't actually know why he does that. Why it's is the armlet on? Yeah. One less button to push when you come out, I guess. I suppose, but at the same time, the element of surprise is pretty darn important. Yeah. Well, if, if you can see it, it's definitely not worth doing. Right. Like you say, I'm not. I'm not sure how that works. What? Right. Strange um. mechanics in Dota, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Every day, there's like some new mechanic which you're trying to learn or don't quite know, understand. I was I was telling LD about the uh, the double necro book lichen build. With double refresher. necro book. Double necro book plus refresher. You can refresh and have two necro books out. Wow. You should try it sometime. It's actually not bad, man. Like Matt. That's so much gold. That's like 15, 16,000 gold. But you also get double ulti and stuff. So like you cast necro book, cast ulti, and then refresh plus necro book. But and you have then like no damage. It's for I rat guess. dota, man. It's for rat dota. Rat dota. <laughs> That's it's pretty obscene. You're you're not looking to right click people. <laughs> <laughs> you would. You would. Uh. They're having like four necro books. Like that's your damage there, man. Your hero's not doing damage. That's true. You could push though. like two different lanes. Yeah. With if you had BOTs. get boots to travel with it. Yeah. yeah. All right, Ben. I want to see this on your stream next. <laughs> next time you random like oh it. Oh my gosh, that would be double necro refresh. That'd be ridiculous. BTS. Radius bottom towers <laughs> under attack. Well, still passive game eight, eight to five, thirteen kills in twenty-three minutes. Not as many as I expected with this lineup. No, not at all. Especially Empire's lineup, but fallen. you and Sane have just played very stable, consistent Dota, not giving any opportunities to get those kills. Yeah, and they don't really want to fight into the Aegis. It's going to expire in about 30 yeah. seconds time. There's another Infest, there's smoke yet again. Oh, this dude may get the jump here. That's going to BKB, but there's, uh oh, there's a perfect initiation, followed by a vacuum. They just get blown up before he can even use his BKB. Not that it would have even mad. Doom's going to buy back. The wall gets dropped. It's not really landing on anyone here. SF is forced to go on the run, even with a Manta style BKB. He may look to run into oh, this one. Oh, and they have the pipe. Oh, that is huge. They're just blocking so much of this damage. Mag with the mech pipe, the total utility. He hasn't even used his mech here. And they forced a Doom buyback as well. This Empire team just. I think sharp. pipe is just so effective against AA. I think AA is really popular because nobody ever gets pipe. Yeah, pipe but, is a very underboard item. It's quite expensive, so I can see why. It's so good, though. I mean, mech blocks, mechs heals for 250, yeah. pipe blocks 400. Yeah. So. Okay. There's not many, like, good pipe buys as well. Darkseid, one of the, probably the best in the Darkseid is pretty good. Or, or Doom's, Doom's okay, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Doom's pretty good for it. Yeah. But it's a big farm investment for a lot of heroes who, like, you look at your mid heroes who need, like, blink initiate yeah. and another item. It's usually a BKB. Silent. There's an AOP on him. He's gonna pop the rage here, go on the run, but the right clicks from SF doing quite a bit of damage. Oh, and comes a vacuum from Darkseid just to help out a bit. Looks like he already had himself surged, so he's using that to try and escape. But Nyx Assassin, if he can get this impale. Oh, the Doom comes out with an impale. No surge for you, Matt. Gonna go down. He makes sure he keeps the life stealer alive, so. See, before before that Doom buff, he would have just run away. Yeah. With the with the uh, surge, but man, does Doom need to keep getting buffed? He, he's gotten buffed not. so many times. He's the, so he's past, so like, strong in the months. current version, just because you can lane him anywhere, like safe lane, mid, even off lane, jungle. Yeah. Like I wouldn't. I don't think he really. Not many teams run him jungle because he's a pretty weak jungle and doesn't offer much. But. He's ne just Nexus so Doom is going to be like on a minute cooldown, and then level death's going to do like fifty percent damage when he's level twenty five. Man, new level, the level death at level 25 is ridiculous. Yeah, I know. It's oh god, <laughs> it's absurd. 20% of your HP. Unstoppable. Oh, I was, I was too busy. I, it was just an infest bomb. Yeah. Nothing, nothing okay. special there. <laughs> Resolution. Oh, well, he's he just finding insane kills is just kind of falling apart though. The infest bombs, they were really big in style in 6.78 when Life Stealer was the king of carries. Yeah. But now they've kind of fallen off a little bit. But only because Life Stealer is not as popular, not because the Infest gank isn't extremely strong. And as we can see, like even in the bottom right next to the T3, even with a BKB and a relatively tanky hero like Doom with yeah. the second most net worth on the game at that point, and 
1800 HP, he still dies very, very quickly to the fast bomb. And you have so little time to react as a team, especially if you have nothing to go through BKB. They really don't besides Doom. But if he's silenced... Yeah, and he was he was even in a position where he could have maybe BKB before the vacuum came in, but even right. if he survived, he was still down to like 300, 400 HP instantly. They even drop an ultimate, they want to try to get Mackie. The Impale will land nicely. Grave come out. Magnum kept alive. Doesn't have a wall just yet. It looks like Doom gonna go out. That's on the life cell. This means that Empire can't really fight. They lose the Darks. They're gonna lose Visage as well to the Shadow Fiend. The BKB Shadow Fiend. They're gonna town a bit here. So that's that's how they need to engage. This Doom needs to always be on this life cell because Empire is pretty much a one core lineup right now. Like he's mm -hmm. most of their damage. Like Puck is doing a decent amount. He's got a hex now. But if Life Cell can't fight, Empire probably lose a, the battle. The problem I is Empire should always be able to get the jump on Insane. Insane can't get yeah. the jump without without the Nyx bleak. And he went for the mech and if Lifesteader can just rage up and maybe uses the Abyssal, especially on the Doombringer, with his BKB, there's no way he's going to survive. With They need like multiple force staffs as well as a mech to save him. Roshan respawns as they walk in and wasn't there and they wow. start to walk out and Roshan respawns. That is some fortuitous circumstances. This Puck and Lifestealer, they're coming. There's an infest. There's no coil here. I think Roshan's just going to go down too fast though. We'll see an Aegis picked up by SF. They may look to fight even with the Aegis up because the entire Empire team is alive and I don't think they're afraid of an Aegis. If they get the jump, like you said, they win these fights. It's all about getting the jump on the Doom though. Puck's going to just get himself out of there. Orbs Puck, has out, a, Puck has a sheep too. Yeah, he didn't have backup there. Well, apart from the Lifestealer inside him, which is more than enough backup, but no need to 2v5. Do you think the 14% who bet on Insane are feeling good about their rares? I gotta say, I don't. Well, I don't think they're feeling good about their rares, but I think Insane's showing a, a much stronger level of play than I expected. No, they they weren't bad. I, I saw them play, and I was like, you know, they they lose, but they don't lose because of huge mistakes. They lose yeah. just because they get slightly outplayed um, and slightly out efficient ties, whatever the verb form yeah. of it is, but. <laughs> Like the overall, their their drafting is pretty solid. Their rotations are pretty good. Their team fight execution is decent. They don't really lack in one big yep. area, like we saw ahead. They they just completely lacked in, in team fight last yeah, game. They like had execution was just absolutely atrocious. I think Q, Q insane across the board are just playing yeah. really solid. And they deserve to be in Star Ladder. Yeah, they haven't really excelled in any area, which is maybe the pro well. I think SF ex as far as his efficiency went, efficiency went was was perfect, but. Mm -hmm. the and the supports are efficient too. Yeah. Uh, the Nick's got a bit out of he's going for BKB now, and this is I guess one of their like one of their downfalls. Not going for a blink dagger on Nyx just means they have zero initiation potential. They won that fight at mid where they got those two kills because Nyx had an Radiant impale on the Darkseer, forced out a grave, slain. and you can't rely on Darkseer being quite out of position by an impale. You need yep. that blink dagger to initiate. Easy chicken. What was was that his like Eagle song or no? Hey, I'm not sure what that was. And that was without the Aegis. I, was I think it was the Doom's Hyperstone. Because uh, oh, wow. Doom was going to Assault Crest, and I think he maybe even attack. almost had enough money for the full thing. I'm not sure if the rest of the pieces... I saw his chainmail on there earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can you get the puck? Not going to do so. There's a gem as well. FN gets... Oh, that's the Doom as well. He's going to get Hex up. The huge SF ulti with the BKB. He gets Abyssal, though. He's going to go down. Second SF ulti going to go flying. Not yet, because he's got the Aegis. FN, he's popped the Doom. It's on the life cell. That means he can't really fight right now. Nyx Assassin, the only one to take a fall though, and Empire gonna be pretty happy with that engagement. They get the Aegis, the Nyx, Doom is no, now on cooldown, so they can just look to go back in. Nice grave by Vanscore. Yeah, that was a resolution. big, big play. The SF had a perfect ultimate there, and they just couldn't finish anyone off. Even with the AI Spots, he's got it again, so he's gonna look for this life sealer, but he's used Infest just on a creep to ensure that he stays alive. The ice blast effect is there, but T2 Tower will go down. The problem with Shadow Fiend against Life Stealer is Life Life Stealer, even if he's even on items, he's gonna beat out a Shadow Fiend because of the Basher. Yeah. He like he needs Manta Butterfly by the time he has uh this set of items. I mean, he has Abyssal. So when Life Stealer's ahead of Shadow Fiend on items, he's gonna get destroyed. He had an Aegis in the fight, but it doesn't matter. He just gets dropped like a rock. Life Stealer's going Lincoln's now. That's gonna make Doom's life that much harder. Even though you can kind of use a spell to break it, it's still just so it's one more thing to worry about. I mean, when he's raged, they can't do anything to him now. Yeah. And he's going to be raged because he's, he's going to pop out of Infest and then immediately rage after. So he has six seconds of uptime guaranteed on a target without I guess four staffs, you can without... use the uh, spell steal to break it still, but... Oh, yeah. This is true. Um, it's... 
That's you have difficult. to react. So this Rubik is just dying instantly in fight. So that would take some in incredible like coordination to actually pull off. I feel for Q and Sang. Yeah, I think the supports just can't really do that much. Puck is like phase shifting most of the AA ultimates. Yeah. Life Stealer is Rage. Dark Darkseer has Pipe as well as a Mech, and they just can't really do that much aside from AA ultimate. What really does AA provide yeah. without IC without IC Vortex? Rubik he stole vacuum last fight. He vacuumed four of them, but there was no follow up after that, so it didn't really matter. The IC Vortex with SF Ulti would be like a pretty good combo. Like, that's a lot of bonus damage from. Most of their damage outputs magic, apart from some of the SF right clicks, and that's where. It's a lot of slow too. Yeah, not to mention. Surprising, he hasn't at least like getting extra points in cold fit at this point. I just don't feel is worth it. No, you're not. He's dying before he can use it. Life Sealer doesn't get cold feeded. Puck has phase shift. Like there's no one it's really latching onto. Even if you do latch onto his grave, yeah. they they need more damage. I think spread damage, AOE damage. Yeah, and just the kiting ability of a Knight's Vortex. But we'll see AA at the top lane. He could be. Oh, he's okay. He's got the oh, next. Oh, he's going for up. a Crystalis. Oh no. SF is. Yeah, I, I think he he has to get yeah. a butterfly. I think it, yeah, I fully agree. Like a butterfly into Satanic kind of game. Although I mean, obviously, because si Silent could just latch onto him, and yeah. Manta Illusions aren't going to stay alive because Mass AOE, like v Vacuum and Puck AOE, can just instantly clear it. And Insane Gaming yeah. realize they're in a bad position. They're going to smoke up. Try use this. This AA is the most obvious bait I've ever seen. But Empire may just go down mid. They they want to make something happen and get a bit aggressive. A is going to just try kill off the. From <laughs> like, what would AA be doing up here alone? It's way too obvious. If you're Empire and you see an AA solo, this is a support AA solo pushing a lane. Like, it doesn't get much more obvious than that. Yep. And yep. now they're, they're going to see the high ground mid and be like, hey, look, no one's defending high ground mid. Let's. I wonder what they're doing. <laughs> Let's get this tier three tower. <laughs> It looks like Darkseer's also going for a Lincoln's. Oh, they blew up Rubik before he could even cast a spell. That that means Lincoln's is not going to get proc here. And they wasted BKB. Yikes. Dyer's now, this gets harder. Life Sealer Infest is on cooldown. They have a Weave on them right now, too. At least on the SF. So they could go in like the next like five seconds if they really mm, wanted to, but without yeah, the Infest. Yeah, it's about to expire. Yeah. If SF does get in there, it would be... I mean, if, if Life Sealer does, it would be pretty painful, but... I think Life Sealer can just chip away at this tower as much as possible. Doom's going to stay pretty far back with his BKB. Yeah, pop the Rage, right click, Radiant and once the Rage is about to wear off, or Glyph gets popped, yeah, you back off. Yeah. Wait for the next Rage. This is, this is like what the Chinese teams used to do with Life Sealer. You just la right click the tower for four seconds with Rage on, then back off, and just repeat when the next creep wave arrives. It's a smart thing to do. They're not putting themselves at much risk at all. Yeah. Well, Rubik's back now, so if they want to break the Life Seal's Lincolns, they can do so. They're going to pop the Pike, and I think they're going to... Just fully commit to this high ground push now. Yeah, physics familiars sceptered up. Yeah, Lincoln's gonna get proc there, so they can use the Doom on Life Sealer here. The problem is they may more, more damage on top of that. He's gonna go in with Rage here. Doom gets used, that's gonna push Silent back. This makes it hard for Empire to fight now, but I think the game plan is retreat, wait for Doom to wear off, heal up and re engage. But Puck gets lifted up. Can he actually get out of this one? Does have Blink, I believe. Needs to do so, and we'll get out of there. SF Ultimate goes, it's gonna kick down, always wanna fly. One more right click, finishes him off. Meanwhile, the Puck. I'm actually going to try to keep the Dazzle alive. He's almost tried to go back in here. Life still is still low. I don't know if he can really fight this one. There's a vacuum. Wall catches out the entire raid team. SF going to drop another ultimate as he goes down. Doom takes a fall without the BKB. A puck is going in. Resolution will finish off the Ancient Apparition. Only Nyx Assassin left standing. Not for long. It's a team wipe. And Empire take out Q Insane. Nice vacuum wall coming out from yeah. the back there. That's where like your life Oh, the A ultimate may catch silent. Wow, where's the he had rage up. Triple buyback. He had rage up. Wow. That's a big... They still hold Q insane, but... like That's costly. Even even in these fights, when they take out Lifesteal, that's the problem. Like, they chase... If they want to chase into Empire, they'll just die to the Vacuum Wall. They'll die to the Puck plus Darkseer. Yep. You can take Lifestealer out of the fight, but if you're... If you're defending high ground, you're fine. But if you're chasing into into them and, and group up as five, then you're screwed. Invisibility. I don't know. I, I Poor Chomi. He's, he's a good game, but... Like you say, the crit maybe not the best item choice here. Mm -mm. He oh. needs to survive. Oh, resolution. Mm, he's got a hex. I don't, he can't kill him he on his needs, own. With the visit birds. Yeah. Visit bird, yeah. Hex. Right clicks. Need the familiars. Chain those familiar stuns, man. I'm surprised. Visit doesn't, like, just triple stun him there. Stun. Uh, looks like they're down, actually. Uh, it's oh, it was on cooldown. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking you just you just chain stun that with the three familiars and you you're set. But no. You're right. It was on cooldown. Yeah. I think they could have waited a little bit, or he could have blew, uh, blown coil for a tiny bit more uptime. 
Yeah. Well, we'll see Roshan respawning soonish if Empire want to play this really safe. Life Seal's coming back online. And they're pretty much ready to go. Puck has a Lincoln, so <laughs> Lincoln's all over. Dark they've got triple Lincoln. So if they really want, they can like give Life Sealer an extra Lincoln mm -hmm. by casting it on him. One of the teammates cast one, put him on the high ground, and then dooming him just gets that much harder. Haste. And Roshan's gonna respawn in about one minute's time. They have their Coco the Courageous over there checking it out. It's got, a, it's got a cool little name onto it. What does that mean? I have no idea. Something, something Empire. Yeah. <laughs> the official Empire career. They've been really uh, good about using smokes, too. Empire's just been using smokes that... It's usually resolution solo smoking. Yes. Too. And hey, there's wards there, which he's going to be eluding, so... And it's right before Roche time, too. Their timing of their smokes is really important. Well, he doesn't need to be careful, because he's off on his own right now. And he's sure he can instantly phase shift blink out, but... See what he looks to do. Puck here. has a Lincolns too. They have three Lincolns. Yeah, triple Lincolns. If this is it, this the, I think Empire realized they don't even need Roche because they forced out the buybacks already. If they win this fight, it's all over. And I think they feel pretty confident they can. Puck orbing for the high, that was a weird puck orb. He is smoke pop, so he thought someone was on the oh, high okay. ground, but it was just because Big Num was standing right here. Okay. Well, on to the Roche. Mm, yeah, may no reason to, to rush things here. Empire. Insane always has to live in fear of the puck gank, though. That's, that's what's scary about their lineup. Like, they have five men smoking Roach, but this is too late. Yeah, too much deeps. And like, for all they know, they could be running uphill. Like, there could be a puck waiting for them on the high ground here. He's not, but like, that is just like, I think they basically accept the fact, hey, we got to do something. And while Roach will go down, they're going to be fighting against Cheese and Age. SF doesn't seem to care. He wants to go man mode in the front lane. Pop that BKB already. BKB, Requiem of Souls doing a lot of damage here, but just not quite enough. We're going to see the Nick Sassen take a bit of damage here. SF wants to fight. He's going to bring down Always Want to Fly, but that's probably all he's going to get. Four stuff to the high ground by the SF. He's trying to TP out. I think he actually will escape. Wow. They get one, they get out. Nice force. Yeah. Wow. Doom's being used here. I think it may have been blocked because no one that I see has been doomed and it's on cooldown. There's going to be a hoof stomp. It looks like the Doom may take a fall. Great chain stun coming out from the vis Visage Familiars. And now Nyx Assassin tries to TP out. No sorry. Two heroes down. Empire with an Aegis on their life sealer, And I think they'll be going straight down the mid lane. SF's still up and he may as well just pick up whatever item he can here because he's got no buyback. Get something like a Helm of the Dominator. Helm of the Dominator? Another Chrysalis? Yeah, HOD would be good. Yeah, I think HOD is his best bet. Get a bit of life steal, a bit of bonus armor, but I don't think it's going to be gonna the matter. difference between winning or losing this no, fight. No, definitely not. It's going to be the difference in between him dying in like six hits or seven hits. Well, they may just lose one set of racks here, they'll throw an AA ultimate. SF is, SF is careful, buys time for the Nyx Assassin, gets it once again. Nice four selves coming out, Silent taking a lot of damage, and while he does have Aegis, blowing that Aegis is actually a pretty big deal, because can they actually hold these racks as Nyx Assassin's respawning? Silent will get the tower, but... They can just pass him the cheese, has fallen. Yeah, are they gonna do just that? No, not yet. He's is currently sitting on the Puck, and uh, Puck's looking for an engagement, doesn't have the core yet, gets a Hex onto Chomi, but Chomi... Still being kept alive by the great support here. Life Seal's, oh sorry, Mag, the Darkseid taking a lot of damage. Life Seal's just getting the Rack. Empire, they're just creating space here. They're going to lose two heroes, but to give Silent the Rack. He's going in on the SF. SF, oh, BKB is going to wear off. There's the SF Reckham Souls firing out as he gets blown up. They'll lose one more as well. The Rubik goes down. Hey, Ultimate, they're actually going to kill off the Life Seal here. So, Q Insane, they're somehow holding on. Doom's respawning in two seconds. He actually has his ultimate. They want to try to use that on the Dazzle. Puck is still alive, though. Where's that Doom? They need to get Resolution here. There's a TP in from the Rubik after buying back. And Resolution, he's out of there. He's got cheese. There's a lift to cancel the TP of Dazzle. It's a dead-looking Dazzle, but... I had... An expensive yeah, hold. It's so... Yeah, so very I, If they passed Cheese a Lifestealer, though, I think it would have it been different. That's true. Puck kept it himself. Though. Yeah, he didn't need it. Well... Mm. It's, it's just because Life Shield just gets focused down it's, so hard. In it's each one of those fights. games where, like, for the last, it's been a good like the last 15, 20 minutes. Like, you can just say like you kind of know Empire's going to win, but Q Insane are just playing so well to drag it out, and they they're actually executing their defense as perfectly as possible. It's just right. They're too far behind in items. It's an, almost an unwinnable situation, but the way they're playing, like most teams, you put them in this position, will just capitulate that much faster and yeah we'll they'll, just, they'll just get picked off by infest yeah. ganks and they'll starve they'll also like you lose two to three in the initial yep. gank and team fights with the hex and yeah they're wholly on rather well but it's they've lost their first racks it took them 40 minutes though, so the high ground what is there for empire they'll have good vision they're also going to pick up an assault caress on the life stealer now i don't think they need to wait for the next rotation but if they're really worried and thinking hey maybe we lose this game they they still always can 
So that's kind of like a, a last resort kind of plan. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm going to have a Heaven's Halberd soon, so... when If you can survive the Rage, that's annoying for, to deal with for the Lifestealer. There's still just so many Lincolns up. <laughs> yes. Oh. Scepter finally out on AA, so not bad without a Midas. 41 minutes. It's about what you expect. We're almost at a point where like you don't doom the lifestyle anymore because you never know like if he has his Lincolns up, right. if he has the Lincolns on him. You may as well just doom the Dazzle, I think, like we saw um, after that fight. Or I think the Dazzle is actually an okay doom target at this point in the game. And then just try kite the lifestyle using your force. I think stuff. Pug's not even a bad idea. Yeah. He also has a Lincolns though, so that's mm. still a bit tricky, but. He's it's easier. Th it's easier than life sealer though, because yeah. he doesn't have any magic immunity, so he can just level death and rage yeah. or level death and dupe. But it's it's by no means easy. Puck is one of the most elusive healers in the game. Oh, that's it. He's got buyback again, but um, I kind of think he just wants to buy his crit. Because if you're going to only survive by buying back here, you're he's you know, not going to have BKB up for his revive. Yeah. So you, you're, it's a losing battle if you're constantly buying back while Empire getting more farmed and you're just staying. He is buying it, but he doesn't have enough money. Yeah. Oh, okay. He just has he may not be here just yet. They got no glyph for the time being. There's gonna be a blink engagement. There's an infest game. It's gonna be FN the Doom. He won't even get off his ultimate here. He's got no buyback as well. And with that, it's pretty much all over. That's kind of one of those mistakes I don't which know. we haven't seen much. Silent. Oh, there's a grave. He may still go down to this he has one. The a ice blast. After. Yeah, A ultimate's gonna finish him off. He's got no way out. He's actually gonna go down. The life is dead. He's got no buyback as well. This SF is just man moding. He's bringing down familiars with himself. One, two, three familiars dead, and he may look to get for the, go for this Dazzle here, but unfortunately two of his teammates are dead, and they go back in here without the Lifestealer. This may be a fight they want to try and take here, they want to try to avoid this wall of replica as much as possible, but... You insane, still holding on. What looked like your Doom dies before he casts ultimate, normally that's game over, but... The AA Ice Blast is just doing work here. Oh, that one gonna be dodged by the- oh no, not dodged by the Puck. He still has the uh, Shatter effect on him. And now they're a little bit scared of SF. He's hitting yeah. for 300 damage, and he has a crit. Radiant but tower that's what happens when you don't focus him down. They get a tower. Like every time Empire comes, yeah, they get something. They get it. yeah. It's always very small, which is where normally you feel Empire would just be getting a full set of Raxus plus tier three tower every push, but they're just getting small things every time. But it's still it's costing every time Q Insane holds. It's costing them deaths, buybacks, and it's really been a struggle to stay in this game. Nag will just surge himself just to make sure he doesn't take too much right click damage. Resolution, chipping away. I like this going for the range racks first just because it's not going to regen and it's permanent damage as opposed to the melee racks which does get some regen. He ult coming out. Man. He dodged again. Yeah, he's been really good about dodging them. Gets the shatter effect, but hey, dodges most of the damage. SF. Well, maybe down to four seconds. That's a bit of a worry, I guess. There's not that much nukes though coming out. Like it's more. It's more the initial. Yeah. Initial jump my puck. Get out of the. Get out of an open wounds. Get out of a dream coil. If you get slowed by an open wounds, you want to just pop that BKB to give you get get yourself away from the life sealer. Hopefully. Big num looking for a kill. They actually don't have a gem yet. I'm actually quite surprised. Oh, actually they do have one. It's on the puck. Yeah, he's had it for a, a bit now. Yeah. Ch Chivas guard also picked up, and this is where like you look at Q insane and how well they've been holding, but. Empire are just progressing so much in terms of items. Shiva's Guard, Assault Crest, your Dazzle has a Vlad's 4 staff, your Rubik's Dark also going to have what looks like a Shiva's Guard 500 gold. Daxi with Lincoln's Blink Dagger now, 2k gold. Everyone on this die side is about to be over 10k net worth. Apart from Dazzle, who's about 2k, over, 2K away. But I mean, even he has Vlad's and 4 staff. Yeah. He's... <laughs> He's more than more than normal farm you'd expect. There is going to be an open wound, so he, he mantas off the open wounds, gets abyssal, but... Not taking that much damage, forced to pop the BKB, I think a bit worried about the familiars. He's going to try to turn this one around. Rage is on cooldown if they can try and engage and puck. Looking for Chomi. This means no BKB, but one of the good things about a 4 second BKB is it's got a short 50 second cooldown. Is that long? Is that short enough though? Yeah. Maybe. And this push is not coming just yet. They can just go ahead and sweep bottom though, because there's no tower there and the creeps are already in mid. Yeah. They SF BKB is 25 seconds away, so they've got to be fast if they want to go before SF BKB. Not that that's really the timing they need, but range tracks will go down for sure. Why not take advantage of it if it's, if it's presented to you? 15 seconds on the BKB, and we'll see if SF can just try to get some right clicks on these familiars, but it looks like the melee racks will go down as well. Do insane. They just can't get in there. Radiant Dazzle going to pop the weave as well, giving everyone bonus armor. They do pop the glyph here, so... They pop that glyph, you may as well try to force them out and keep their Rex alive, because it'll regen up slowly. 
I think this is where Life Sealer just Rage right clicks it and finish off the racks and then. Yeah, but he's infested. He doesn't want to waste yeah. his infested repositioning. The will be back up. He's been infested for a long time. I think he may even have it once he comes out. But yeah, you should just get the racks and then worry about the fight afterwards. But he's going to go in. He's going to look for the kill here. There's a vacuum. Water follow as well. SF pops a BKB. Can he get a Requiem off? It doesn't look like he wants to go for one. He's going to back off. But now BKB wears off. He's still on the run. The familiars are kind of on, on top of him, which is causing him problems. Doom comes out. It's on Mag on the dark sea. He's going to get graved up. The Impale actually catches two fairly nice here. SF needs to fight. Needs to bring down Silence. Silence getting fairly low here. He pops a rage. He's still fighting. He's actually maybe going to go down. SF needs some crits. Where are those crits? Mag, Mag is just going to go down as well. Silent actually picks a four. Mag with a buyback. And now SF, show me, still just, man fighting his way out of things here. He's I, a man. Every time they're actually dealing with this life stealer, no matter how farmed he is. But it's four Raxes now. It's it's really dire straits for them. I it's it, it's been this way for the last 20, 25 minutes, but they've just fought so heroically. He picks up a shadow blade. I don't know how this works against the Puck gem, unfortunately. Oh no 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 he bought another crystal. Okay. He sold it. It was a, maybe a misclick. I think it was click the claymore and click the wrong. Up. Well, not even claymore. I don't know what that really clicked. Blades of attack. Yeah. No, Wait. No. Uh, no, no, no. I was thinking claymore. Are they even close? You on used the to make shadow. You used to make shadow blade shop? with um, a, a battle. Oh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. They're not even close on the shop. They're three items away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's no excuse. No. I guess he just changed his mind. But he's going to look to go in. This is your last rack. Cause you've got to try and hold this. Hey, ice blast will do it quite a bit here. Catches out three maggots, pulled back here. A couple more right clicks, he needs the crit. He will get the crit. I think that's the death of Mag. Grave is there, but that's not going to last long enough. Meanwhile, Puck is on the back line. Looks like he brought down one. Phase, blink. This Puck ever elusive. They lose the Darks here, though. That was the AI Ice Blast. Yeah. And all they got was like half damage on a, t on a melee Rex. And yeah, that's healing up. They're not going to be able to push for no quite some time. Looks like Roshan will respawn. Yeah, and that's... About 30 seconds. That's the thing, I guess. Q and Sane can do anything, but Empire, no. Like, even if they don't, even if they aren't executing these high ground pushes as perfectly as they want to, they've still got Roche to fall back on. Lifesteal is dying a lot more than they'd hoped for, but hey, it doesn't really matter at this point. Dude, Resolution, his score is 11 0 17. Wow. Against a Doom. He's, yeah, he's just been playing like an absolute yeah. beast. Even against AA, it's hard to stay alive, like, as a puck. He's been dodging, like, almost every single one of the Ice Blasts, yeah. though. Well, they'll wait for Roshan, and Silent's already in there, so... Probably will drop his drums to take the Aegis here, or sell them off. No real reason to hang on to them at this point in the game, and... Well... This is this is probably all over for Q and Sane. Once this push comes with the Aegis and Cheese, they've got one last to ride in them. I, I can't believe SF went for this double double crit build. He's got a Mask of Ma Morbid Mass Air. Ma is this Mask of Madness, even? I think Mask of Madness is better than Helm of the Dominator at this point. Yeah, if they keep focusing Doom, yes. I think if they focus Shadow Fiend, though, Doom can't really save the Shadow Fiend. No. Well, like Helm of the Dominator is not going to save him anyways. Right. It's like it's nice to have though. Satanic might. Oh, he's gonna picked up a smoke for his team. Well, more just to. I guess no one else could. Oh, I guess he's like, hey, let's smoke out. Fight outside of the base, so you actually have a chance of keeping your Raxes alive. If you fight in your base, life's looking. Just but no one is. Raxes. No one else is with him. Yeah. Come on, Rubik, get up there. Rubik's almost got BKB, but that's not going to matter. AA has an ultimate ready. They kind of go around from behind here. They've got to get in position soon. I, at the same time, if there's five heroes... Oh, they'll the find Darkseer! Ooh, that's a big pickup. They'll use the Doom. That means no vacuum wall. Life seals on the front grounds. He wants to try and get this SF. SF gets abyssaled up. He's taking too much damage. He will go down. There's no buyback as well. FN is on the run. He's used Doom already. Darks is still actually alive for a bit longer. They've lost two. They're going to lose three. GG is called. I like... I liked that, that play though. You have yeah. to go for something risky. Why not? If yeah. you, I mean, every single time they lost, like a building, a T3, a Rax, and. And you when you've only got two Raxes left, that next push is your last Rax. Right. So Insane still. I mean, they, they impressed me. I, they re they're versing, to me, the team who's playing the best in Europe right now. Yes. Like, I don't think they're the best team in Europe, but they're playing the best. Like, they're playing better than Navi, better than Alliance, and they're by far the most consistent team. I think we can expect some good things coming out from Insane. Yeah, I would. You you put them in a matchup against a team who's not in as good a form as Empire, like against a team like Fnatic who's struggling a bit. Put them against teams like Power Rangers or Next KZ or Next Level of teams. I think they'll pull some upsets, get some wins. Unfortunately, there was zero two before this, so they're now zero and three, I believe, which is uh, a bit unfortunate for them. But they're definitely not as bad as the record suggests, though. Yeah, 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 absolutely. I I definitely rate these guys. Well, this is the same as last season where I had Bignum and. 
uh, show me these guys played on teams last season. And it was really it's well. better than their team last season, though. Okay. Yeah, I would agree on that. I would agree on that. But that does it for uh, this match. We've got one more match coming up next, which is going to be Power Rangers versus MYM. So. That one should be pretty good. I think those yeah. teams are fairly evenly matched. Absolutely. MYM's been getting good practice playing in the Dream League against some of like the best teams there. And then, well, Power Rangers is always a team. They've beaten the Alliance the last two seasons of Starlight. So you can never really underrate these guys. They've yet to kind of have a big breakout in a LAN tournament. But I don't know. Maybe maybe this they is did, the one. They beat Navi at Tech Labs, right? Yes. Did they get first? I think no, they no, beat no. them, they but then Navi came back from the loser right. bracket. And then that's still that's still yeah uh, they beat Navi on LAN a couple times I want to say yeah or at least and also when they were known as Icy Cup they beat Navi on LAN once or twice I want to say so they're a team to look out for but guys um, I think I'm done for today Zayuri's going to take over and cast with you mm -hmm. and then we've going to style out TV Thanks for America. Thanks me, gods. No worry. First time in a long time. It's been. It's been Welcome back. It's um, it's been a week of first. Like I got to cast with LD again. I got to cast with Zayuri. I got to cast with you again. So. Everyone's happy. Yeah, we're all happy. Guys, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, it's um, Power Rangers vs. MYM. Stay tuned.